Ariel Helwani post fight at UFC 127 alongside John Fitch, who fought to a majority draw against BJ Penn tonight. And John, a very tough fight. Um, when they announced the verdict, what did you think? I was a bit confused, you know, because I had one judge scored at 29-28 for me, and then two judges scored at 28-28. I've never really heard of a majority decision. I, I, I didn't understand what was going on for a second. but. Uh, more, I was, I was disappointed, disappointed with my performance. I felt like I could have opened up more like I did in the third earlier in the fight, um, but I was a bit confused with uh, his strategy. Uh, I didn't expect at all for him to uh, come in with a gra grappling mindset and come in to wrestle, and it took me a, a round and a half to figure it out and, and uh, get back into my stride. I mean, I could fight five rounds right now. I, I don't even feel like I went through a fight. Do you think this actually adds to the case of uh, there needs to be five round, um, even non-title you know, fight main events? Four main events, I think, why not? I mean, if it's just one, if it's one fight that night, I mean, why not? Especially if there was no titles tonight. They're all all three round fights. We got through the we got through the show pretty quickly. Um, you know, I'm I'm for it. I think it'd be a good idea. The interesting thing is that if you didn't dominate him so much in the third round, you would have lost the fight because two of the judges scored the first and second round mm -hmm. for him, and they gave you a 10-8. Did you think that third round was a 10-8, though? Uh, I think so. I mean, I was one-sided, and I was just a one-sided beating the whole the whole five minutes. Um, I could I would argue harder that uh, he didn't win the second round, but um, yeah, I think just 10-8 round. I, I I wonder if I should have maybe lit him up, and because he seemed like he was kind of gassed, maybe I would have had a better chance of knocking him out if I let him up, or uh, I don't know. Um, I don't know. I just need to need to do more, I guess. So you think he won the first and you won the second and third? Yeah. What do you think you did in the second to ensure that you won it? Uh, I think I did had more top control. I did more damage uh, on top. Um, he did, did take down and get to my back, but there was no threat of, uh, of finishing at any point, and uh, I don't think he spent much time there. So uh, I think I, I did enough to win that round. At any point when you were thinking about this fight in the weeks leading up to it, did you even, at, 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 for one second, think that he would open the fight trying to take you down? <laughs> no, never. Uh, you know, especially working with uh, Floyd Merriweather the senior, I, I thought it would be uh, counterboxing, counter wrestling the whole time, and that's that was the mindset we were going into. And then I should have uh, prepared better. I, I'm disappointed in the fact that uh, you know I'm much more cerebral of a fighter, and me to not not to see that BJ is smart enough of a guy to change the strategy up. Um, I'm, I'm extremely disappointed with myself. Even so, that was like in the first, you know, 30 seconds or so of the fight. Um, how come you weren't able to adjust? Well, you know, you spend two months uh, training every day a certain way. Uh, you know, you basically are carving grooves, and sometimes it's hard to jump out of those grooves and, and reassess and, and, uh, and change. Some guys can't do it at all. Um, I, I was able to do it. It just took me longer than I think it should have. And uh, if I would have prepared better, I would have had those grooves already uh, implemented and, and I would have had the secondary strategy, um, but I didn't have that in place. If you were the guy making the decisions here, what would you like for the UFC to do with John Fitch next? Well, I mean, it depends. I, it, it all depends on the Jake Shields and, and uh, GSP fight. I, I would love to get the crack at the winner. Um, but they're talking, and GSP's talking about moving up, and I, that's something I don't have control over either. Uh, if he moves up in weight, then, then I would love to fight BJ again for the belt. I think, why not? Uh, and if they do a rematch, why not make it five rounds? How disappointing would it be if they give you someone else and you have to prove yourself? Because historically, they haven't given out title shots after a guy's coming off a draw. Yeah, um, I don't know. I, I don't know what to expect. All I can do is just get back in the gym, uh, work hard, and, and win my next fight. And, and at the end of the fight, you were very happy. It looked like you, you thought you won, uh, the, the, you thought you won, but the crowd showering you with booze. And, and you haven't really know, been known to be that kind of a fighter. When you take a step back, does that bother you? Uh, I, didn't, I didn't notice any booze at all. Actually, I didn't hear any of that. Oh. <laughs> it, was pretty, it was pretty loud. Oh, I didn't hear it. All right. Well, fine performance. You know, it's tough to, to end this way, but uh, we look forward to what's next from you, John. And thank you for the time, as always. All right, thank you.